Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical G shape. We already discussed about how to print stars in alphabetical A to F shape and the code is similar. So let's begin with the code. And here we can see the code. And these for loops are used to print stars in different row and column. As we can see in the output, there are six columns and seven rows. And to print these stars in different row and column, we are using for loops. And here we can see the first for loop and here row is a variable. And in the output, we can see there are seven rows are there. That's why I'll take range as seven here. And inside that we are taking another for loop. It is to print stars in the column and call is a variable name. And in the output we can see six columns. That's why I'll mention six here. Okay. And inside that for loop we are using if else conditional statement. That is we need to print the stars in particular pattern. For that we need a condition. That's why we are using if else conditional statement. Here in if statement, I need to mention the condition that is in which row and column I want to print star, right? For that, we'll see the output. First, we'll concentrate on the column and in the column zero and column four, we can see the stars, right? And in the column zero, I want to print the star in each row, right? So my first condition will be i'll check whether column is equal to equal to zero right this is my first condition next i'll take logical or operator in the case of logical or operator if any one of the input is true then it will give output as true here if any one of the condition is true then i want to print star that's why i mention or here so my next condition will be uh, we already done with the column 0. Now we'll check column 4. We want to print star in the column 4. But in the column 4 and row 1 and row 2, we don't want any star, right? So I'll write like that. I'll check whether column is equal to 4. Okay. If it is true, then I want row should not be equal to 1 and row should not be equal to 2. And this is my second condition. So I'll put them together. So this is my second condition where I'm checking whether column is equal to four. If it is true, then to print star, this condition must true. That's why I used and here. In the output, we can see at the column four and row one, there is no star and column four, row two, there is no star. That's why I wrote condition like this. Okay, next third condition. So I'll use or and here we are done with the column. Now we'll concentrate on the rows and at the rows zero and row six, we can see the stars, right? We need three stars at the column one, column two, column three. So for this, I'll check whether row is equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 6 okay so if it is true then column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4 okay this is my third condition we are concentrating on the rows we are checking on the row 0 and row 6. We want to print these three stars and these three stars. That's why I mentioned column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. Okay. And next, we are done with the column 0, column 4, row 0, row 6. Now we need to concentrate on the row 3. We need to print these two stars. This is already printed in the column 4. That's why we need to concentrate on these two stars. Right? So we'll write condition like this. 
I'll mention logical or here I'll check whether rho is equal to equal to 3 if it is true then at that time column should be column should be 3 5 right so here I'll mention column should be 3 or column should be 5 and this is my next condition where I am checking whether row is equal to 3 if it is true then at that time any one of this should be true so we are done with our condition so I will mention column so if any one of this condition becomes true then we need to print star and here we can see end equal to empty string in the print by default end value will be slash n but here after printing one star i don't want any new line i just want to print next star immediately after that that's why here i mention empty string and else we can see print end is equal to space that is if this condition become false then control goes to the else part and it will print space that is here in some places we can see the space right this is because of this else statement okay so next inside the first for loop we are using print it is for new line that is after printing star in one row we want to print star in the next line that's why we are using print here and now i'll execute this and here we can see the output okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet in next class till then take care